I'm really, I'm really comfortable. I, lo I love Coach Redno. And, you know, going through spring, uh, I learned a lot personally. And not only me personally, but the whole entire line, we all gelled together. Um, we, have, we, have a, we, have a good, we have a good group of guys right now, and we have everything we need to be successful. It's just a matter of putting it together, putting the puzzle pieces together, and then having a great season. So as a position group, what do you guys do? You guys have a set goal for this year. What's kind of what are you guys looking at? I mean, first and foremost, I mean this is Michigan, and uh, the goal is always higher. The standard is always higher than anybody else. And obviously, you know we want to. We are going to be a more dominant line than we have been in, in, in the past years, but past few years, you know, it, it really hasn't been a product of a talent level or practice practice level intensity. It's just been a fact of just. You know, the circumstances weren't right and things didn't happen the way we wanted them to. Uh, but there's no more of that. That's over. And this, what, is, this is a new year. What might Drevno bring to the mix that will enhance that process? Oh, uh, well, you know, the thing, the thing with Coach Drevno is, you know, obviously came from the NFL. He has a ex very extensive background. Um, you know, bringing that to us, you know, us seeing that aspect and us seeing those, those details that he brings with us that, you know, you might not know. You know, there's tricks in the league that, you know, we watch NFL tape that you learn. You don't really see in, see in college. It's seeing those techniques and tricks. That is what, what I think is going to set us apart this year. Some people have said his schemes are a little bit more complex uh, than even a lot of uh, NFL teams. I mean, is like, that how you see it? Or? I mean, not, not really. I mean, at this, at this point, I'm, I'm old enough now, and I play enough football to the point where football is football. I mean, it's going to be an inside zone or outside zone. We're going to pass the ball. You know, it's not that, it's not that complicated. The, most thing, the thing that changes the most, especially with coaches, coaches uh, changes, is just like the words you use. I mean, that's basically it. I mean, it's not it's not that complex. And we'll be fine. Mm -hmm. What has it been like having Jim Harbaugh as your head coach? I mean, he's been in the news yeah. ever since he was hired. I mean, uh, the savior is here. <laughs> uh, I mean, Coach Harbaugh is awesome uh, through spring ball. You know, we we saw him we saw him here and there during the summer. But you know, he was doing the camps. You know, he was traveling, doing everything he should be doing. Um, but you know, through spring ball, us we really got to know him and we got to gel with him. And he is just an intense guy, and I love him. And he, he's my kind of coach, and I'm. I'm just happy I get to play under him. What do you think when you see like the, the photos, the shirtless photos and stuff like? I mean, I love it. I love it because I mean I walk around and I wear my shirt off all the time. You know, I mean it's uh, he's my kind of guy. He's not afraid to put it all out there, and uh, I think that's exactly what we need. Why do you believe he can turn things around? I mean, just talk to him. I mean, I, I believe every I believe every single word he says, 100. percent I mean, he is the most passionate guy I've ever met. And uh, if you don't think if you don't believe any, everything he says and how we're gonna be this year. I mean, you're not listening. Do you get a sense that this is more important to him, more personal, because this is his school, and that I think I read a quote last week that he can't mess it up. You know? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure in his in his head, uh, that's in the back of his mind somewhere. Um, especially because it has to be cool coaching at your alma mater. I mean, that that's an awesome feeling. It has to be. But I think with him, all he wants to do is win. That's all he wants to do is get us in the best position to win and make us winners. Not only for him, because he thinks he has to, but for the whole entire team and for Michigan. Yep. There's been a lot of kind of shifting around in the offensive line the last couple of years, different lineups. Uh, yep. Do you guys feel like you're getting more towards the sector for five and getting a little bit more comfortable? Uh, well, you know, every time we go into camp, we definitely have we have a, a first, second, and third line. And, uh, you know, guys guys have been told, we've had individual meetings with the coaches telling you where you stand. You know, we, we rank... There's a ranking now of the one through, you know, 115 and 120 guys, how many, how many ever we have. And um, I think everyone knows where they are and everyone knows what they have to improve on uh, to get to where they want to be. Thanks, guys. Yeah. And where are you? I'm right where I want to be. I'm feeling good. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Do you feel different with Drev now? Uh, you know, with Coach Drev, he's a, he's a, he's a guy who he's he has a knack for – you know, getting getting under your your butt a little bit, getting under your skin, but also loving you up at the same time, and that's the biggest thing I see is because he knows he knows how far to push you, he knows when to reel you back in, he knows exactly how to get the best out of you, and that's uh, that was really evident in spring ball. I mean, sorry, yeah. was that different than, than before, and is that what you need, you personally? Uh, I mean, me, me personally, you know, I liked I liked Coach Funk's style. Um, I mean, they have they have pretty similar styles. You know, Coach Drev, he has, his background is so awesome, and as he, he comes from such. He was, I mean, he was coaching. He was coaching Boone. He was coaching Staley. He was coaching Iapati, uh, Goodwin, and uh, who's the other guy? The, the right tackle. I forget his name. Um, but you know, he coaches those guys, and then he gets, he has to bring those guys tricks to us. And that's what I like so much is getting to know everything I can to be the best all alignment I can.